Hey, Bass Light in Air. Welcome to another episode of my Street Muscle Diaries. Out here on a beautiful summer day with my scat pack. And uh, I'm just going to do a topic discussion and cruise. Nothing crazy, nothing too scary, but you know, just figured I would add that into my uh, Street Muscle Diaries this season. And the topic is. Uh, drag radials drag radials are the key absolutely are the key um, now in comparison I haven't ran all the numbers on you know and recorded everything with the weight reduction modding I did this season um, I had to, I didn't get everything done in time with the filming and I've got a road trip coming up and I had to put everything back to stock, uh, just to get the trunk protected and we put stuff in there and, you know, I have to keep my scat pack functional. Now, one thing I've done some research and I haven't done it with this challenger yet. I did do it with my last one and it was a huge difference. Um, there's guys running 11 threes beating Hellcats with a 392 and drag radials. That is it. No modding. Of course, it's on a prepped drag strip, I understand. But I will guarantee you I could get 11 fours on the street. If I put a set of Nittos or uh, Mickey Thompson's on here on this scat pack, I'll guarantee you. Um, that's going to be, you know, a future forecast for another season. Um, just in eco mode right now, just cruising, you know, eco mode, it's the tame version of the 392. It's going to give you your most MPGs. It'll get you up there around 21 plus miles per gallon. So on this road trip, you can bet yourself I will be in eco mode. Uh, maybe when I get over to the beach on the ocean front. You know, I'll have some fun and play around in track mode. But as far as the road trip, most definitely I'll be doing uh, eco mode all the way over and back. Plus my family will be in here. So, <laughs> got to be cool, man. There's a Challenger right there. It looks like a RT. It's nice. Is that the uh, Go Mango with the racing stripes on it? I didn't get a chance to turn the cam to show you all, but anyways, so what do I think about drag radials versus street radials and versus um, weight reduction modding? Now weight reduction modding, I stripped out probably around 60 pounds-ish. Um, on the old scale I was using and I got down to around 11.8 on a quarter mile um, and once again the only uh, footage I got to was a 0 to 60 I apologize for that if it wasn't for this vacation thing I would have filmed every single performance piece on my performance pages for you all I think I'm going to do that and plan that for next season though for sure but i want to do it with drag radials now i'm gonna i can only compare with me verbally telling you what the numbers are showing i mean i could scroll through and show everybody if you if i really need to verify everything i mean come on man you know <laughs> uh, i know that's the way of the internet you gotta verify everything well i'm not going to I can just tell you what the numbers are saying without stopping and scrolling through every single piece on my performance pages and showing you and proving what I'm saying. I'm not going to do it because I'm not a BS artist and I'm just telling you what it's telling me. So we'll get that out of the way right up front. Um, so 11.8 um, and that was... It was 125 miles an hour. And now that's on a no prep surface, not at the drag strip, without drag radials. So I was on 
you know, uh, no prep and street radios, BF Goodrich. Um, I've done review on the on the BFGs I've been running this season, and they're awesome tires. But I just think I was thinking next season. I mean, since I'm changing out tires every season, anyways, because this thing goes through tires. You know, <laughs> even if you're not lighting them up, it's just you know, 500 horsepower to the crank. I mean, it's it's a tire eater. You know, um, so I'm thinking either Nittos, try five R's, or Mickey Thompson's or something like that. It's going to be around the same price. Maybe $100 more than what I paid for the BFG um, All Season Plus. Now, the big um, performance note to keep in mind is uh, is that the, the, the gains are huge. Way more than what I had thought. Running all the numbers... I was, uh, what was it, One, 190, 60 foot, uh, 3.9 second, 0 to 60, 11, 8, quarter mile, 125-ish, no, I think it was, I think it was right on 125, um, eighth mile I didn't do, because I just didn't, I just didn't do it, um, I probably will. But I think it's more beneficial if I show you all drag radials all on all four corners. And the Nitto Tri-5Rs are great because, you know, you're going to go through a set in a season. You're not going to, they're not going to last for years on end, you know. But I'm changing out tires every season anyways, so I might as well get the best performance tires I can get for the muscle car season each, each year, you know. So before I put this away for four months and drive my SUV and be bored for four months, but hey, whatever. Better than letting this rot out from salt on the roads they use here in the winter, you know. It's not that bad in the snow, actually. I I did drive my other Challenger in the snow, and they're actually not that bad in the snow. But I just, I don't really want to get salt all over my Brembo's and everything else. So, all right, got to pay attention here. We got little intersection so yeah eco mode you know it's not overly exciting it's just a cruising mode but you know it's going to get you your best average and my, i'm already going up you know i was in you know track mode at 14 miles per gallon now i'm already at 16.8 miles per gallon i've only had an eco mode for you know 15 minutes or whatever so you can see the difference there and best for road trips absolutely um so anyways i think i'm gonna try drag radials next season and like i said the gains are way more unless you do extreme weight reduction modding and i mean 550 pounds extreme and strip it down to nothing you know, I'm not going to do that because I, I, this isn't a dedicated race car. It's my everyday driver, you know. I drive it every day for seven months straight pretty much, you know, or almost every day. And, you know, so the Nittos are really good drag radials that can also be used on the street because there's some tread on them. You don't want to get, uh, get slicks because the Hoosier slicks are nice for dedicated drag strip race cars <laughs> or track cars you know not <laughs> as soon as it rains you might as well park it you know what i'm saying so with the nittos or this there's mickey thompson's that are drag radios and not just slicks you know what i mean um same deal so either either or um the nexons aren't too bad but they're not as good as nitto definitely not as good um they're not too bad, but I mean, you're paying almost as much. You might as well get the real thing, right? Um, so that's really where I'm at is I think because, okay, so let's break down the numbers at 11, eight, I can run on the street with this high 11 threes and 11 fours with drag radials, no BS. 
if you look at RT Life, there's a Hellcat, older one. Um, if you look at old uh, RT Life, he has a video of a guy in a 392 with only drag radials, no modding, full weight, beating Hellcats and, and a bunch of other cars, you know. Um, really good video. Check out his channel, subscribe, you know. Um, that's really cool stuff. Uh, so you can be a higher horsepower car or higher trim with a 392 with your driving skills and proper tire selection. Of course, DA plays in the factor if you have good DA. If you have good air, you get a good launch, you dead hook, you can beat a Hellcat with a 392. You don't just go by the numbers. It's driving skills, tire selection, big time. So I'm curious as to see what will happen on the street uh, with some Tri-5Rs or something, you know, because you can shave four tenths off from your ET. So and I'm running 11.8 with the weight reduction. I can run around 11.4, 11.5 on the street with, with drag radials. So, yeah, pretty amazing, huh? I'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I've got to run it. I've got to get the, put the tires on in the spring and then go out with good conditions like this, you know, good air and everything, and run my times. And I will definitely focus on doing each, you know, 60 foot, 0 to 60, eighth mile, quarter mile, 0 to 100, all the times on the performance pages for all of you. But I think it's I'm better off doing it with um, drag radials. Absolutely. So that's about it. Topic discussion. Nothing, you know, overly exciting on the driving here. I'm not doing smoky burnouts or driving crazy. Sorry if it bores some of you, but that's not what I do on my channel. I do a little, some polls, have some fun without going too far, you know. And I do topic discussions and drive around. So hopefully you all enjoy that. Also check out my original Hard Rock. And we'll catch you all on the next one. Base Lightning is out.